taking up your cross. Um, well, let's look at what cross means. A cross signifies death. It also signifies a call. Jesus was not called to just, he, his ultimate call was not to teach parables. His ultimate call was not to heal, heal blind Bartimaeus or the woman by the well. His greatest call was not to do all those miracles. His greatest, his ultimate call was to die. Because if he sheds the blood, then it'll appease the sin of mankind. So many people look at, oh, that's a great story, the great parable, the woman at the well. But his cross was the specific purpose on which he was going to come in this earth to do. That if he doesn't make it to that cross and bear that cross, we'll, there will be no, um, uh, our sins will still be held accountable to us, right? So the cross represents what us, when the Bible says in Luke 9, 23, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me, is to take up your responsibility, to take up your call, to take up your purpose. Because right now, the burdens of the people that I'm supposed to reach, the, the, the emails I get, and the, the pain that I feel from these people is the cross I bear. Not their burden, but my responsibility to ensure, my, it's my responsibility to make sure I do what I'm supposed to do, dying to myself, pursuing my call so that they can live. That's what Jesus did. He died on the cross so that we can live. The Bible says, no greater love than this than a man laid down his life for his friends. He was trying to paint a picture of who you laying your life down for because your life is not about yourself. So when you're taking up your cross, <clears throat> you're saying, God, I'm taking on my purpose and I'm gonna die and fulfill my purpose. I'm gonna die to myself so my purpose can live and I'm just gonna die to anything that may cause me or hinder me from producing my purpose. So every day you gotta take up your cross daily. Before you walk out that door, I am called to this. I, have, I tell everybody, this is, good, this is good right here. Make sure you have a mission statement for your life. My mission statement is to build people, build relationships, and build community. That's my mission statement. My mission verse, I forgot where it's at, but it says, I become all things to all men that I may win some. That's how I live. So when I see an Asian come by me, if I see an African come by me, if I see a black person come by me, that's why I study culture. I study different things so that I can become a chameleon for Christ, so that I can be able to camouflage myself, not compromise but be able to connect in every situation. So if I'm, if I'm all things to all men, I'm not compromising, I'm just aware so that I can be able to connect. So my mission statement is to build people, build relationships and build communities. That is the foundation of my life, is to build up every person that comes in front of me, I'm gonna build you up, I'm gonna build up relationships, and I'm gonna build up these communities. That's my, that's my mission, my personal mission. If you don't have a personal mission, your cross can be at home every day because you don't know exactly what to pick up to take out. And so if I know for a fact, build people, build relationships, build communities, that's my mindset. When I'm in a workplace, become all, men, become all things to all men, I may win some. Will I win them then? No, but they, every time they come around that corner at the Y, there go Josh. So no matter what, I know about the Oklahoma City Thunder game, I know about uh, Two Chains album with, uh, with Lil Wayne, <clears throat> I, know, I know everything from, uh, from everything, not, not consuming it, but I'm just aware, I'm a student of culture. You see, I'm not a person of the culture, student of the culture. So that when anybody talks with me, I can give them buzzwords, something to say, you know what, this guy is cool. And when they start asking you questions, I don't go tell them Jesus first. Here's my cross. Do you want to die on it too? Can you know what I'm saying? Here's Christianity. No, I say, you know, let me just be a light. The people who speak more about Christ rarely live it. It's those who live it silently. Mother Teresa says, preach the gospel and use words if necessary. One of the most powerful quotes, preach the gospel and use words if necessary. And that's how you can win more and more people for Christ. Hope that helped.